Hey guys, um, it's me again. Um, just have a very brief rant this morning. I just want to remind each and every single one of us that um, as we um, get closer and closer to the rapture, His glorious appearing, our blessed hope, um, there's going to be more and more attacks from um, Satan's kids, um, post-tribbers and what have you, who um, will always have something to say about the pre-trib rapture because they hate his appearing and they're not really saved whenever we talk about jesus coming back soon for us um they're gonna comment something like oh no it's not gonna happen and blah 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 and a lot of these guys are just a bunch of liars they're gonna claim to be um ex pre-tribbers as though that makes them sound more credible you know they're gonna say stuff like oh yeah i used to believe in the pre-trib rapture but then blah 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 just ignore those heretics and um, let's keep our eyes in the sky. Um, let's look to the skies and um, keep our ears open for that trumpet because um, it seems like it's going to be soon. Um, uh, again, I'm not talking prophetically. I hope I am by accident, but by no means am I claiming that I heard from God or anything like that. But, you know, the season just seems so right, doesn't it? You know, wars, rumors of wars, everything. I've been saying the same thing over and over again, but it hasn't changed. Things are only getting worse. We're going to get our um, Red Sea moment soon. And as I said in my previous videos, the Lord knows how to make an entrance. And um, he's really going to push us to the brink. Uh, we're going to be at, at a dead end. And um, things are going to look so bleak, at least for Christians. Um, the world is going to love a bunch of stuff that's happening right now. And they think it's a good thing. They're deceived. It's, it's going to be part of that great delusion. I don't think the great delusion is upon us yet. I think that won't happen until after the rapture. So, um, yeah, just um, keep your heads up. Like, literally, look up and um, our redemption draws near. Don't get discouraged by post-tribbers. You're going to get a lot of those, um, whether um, you're on Twitter or any other type of social media, Facebook. If you're on YouTube, I... Uh, I suspect there's there might be comments here from um, Satan's kids. You know they've been um, commenting on my um, videos a lot more as of late, and to me that's just confirmation that you know we're really close because they can't stand it. They can't stand the fact that judgment is going to be upon them soon. Um, these unsaved people who are pretending to be Christians, they really hate the the idea that Jesus is coming back to take us all away. I mean, I don't even know why they care. They're not going anywhere. So, um, and if you are a post-tribber, you know, it's time for you to get saved. As much as I don't like you guys, as much as I want to punch most of you guys in the face and as annoying as you guys are, Christ still died for you guys. So um, stop trusting in yourselves. Stop trusting in your own works. Stop thinking that it's your ability to endure to the end that's going to save you. Because ultimately, you're going to have to endure to the end if you're stupid enough to not take God's grace today. Because yes, we are escaping. That's the promise that Jesus gave us. That we may um, be able to stand worthy to escape all these things that are coming upon the earth. And if you're stupid enough to want to roll the dice or, you know stick around for the great tribulation because you think you can tough it out or whatever get beheaded for your faith and you know so be it but you need to get born again today because if you're trusting in your works even just by a little bit if you think you, you somehow have to um go through the great tribulation in order to seal your salvation then you're not saved today by your own admission because you have to prove yourself and you're trusting yourself so it's going to be a different deal when the Great Tribulation hits, don't be stupid. Take the quote-unquote easy way out. The Lord has not appointed us to wrath. And don't get started on, oh, well, it's God's wrath, but here's the Antichrist wrath. No, the Great Tribulation is all God's wrath. And the Antichrist and his stupid things are just a part of it. And God's in control and this judgment is meant for Israel, so they'll turn to him as a nation but if, if you're whoever you are whether you're a Jew or a Gentile today 
put your faith in Jesus Christ right now. And don't wait around. So, um, okay, um, fellow saints, just brief rant this morning. Um, yeah, just keep looking up. Our redemption draws near. Don't don't be discouraged by these post tribbers and what whatever other pretend Christians there are running around right now. Um, they need to get born again, but you know we're safe, we're secure, and um, we're just waiting for that trumpet. 